If you're a vata dosha or you have a loved one that's a vata dosha, then you are going to love this video because I'm going to share with you the top 10 mistakes that vata should avoid for the best care of vata dosha. Hi, I'm Melissa. You may know me from my YouTube channel, Yo Yoga with Melissa. I have been putting out a one hour yoga video every Friday since 2009. I also have this channel where I vlog every Monday and I put out videos like this on Wednesdays. And this month we are going to be focusing on the Ayurvedic doshas. So be sure to subscribe, especially if you are Pitta or Kapha dosha so that those videos show up in your subscription feed too. I also have a membership community. So for example, one of the things we are doing together this month in our membership community is a 30 day challenge of Ayurvedic morning routines to balance your doshas. So if you'd like to join us for an Ayurvedic morning routine to balance your doshas, then I will leave the link in the show notes for you to join our community. So what are the top 10 mistakes for Vata dosha? Number one, hanging out in the wind, flying kites. Vata literally means wind and hanging out in the wind and flying kites adds more wind and ether to a dosha that already has a lot of movement, energy and space. Vatas are incredibly creative and enthusiastic. They move quickly from one thing to the next with their thinking and their ideas. So hanging out in the wind can further disperse vata dosha energy, making them more anxious, exhausted, and cold. Number two, don't drink ice cold drinks. Vata is cold and dry. The digestion tends to be weak and gravitates towards constipation. Drinking ice drinks kills the digestive fire and when vata's skip the ice drinks they'll experience less gas and bloating and more regular bowel movements try ginger tea instead number three don't eat salads and cold green smoothies vata dosha is cold dry and rough smoothies are cold the ingredients in smoothies are leafy greens such as kale spinach or swiss chard they're dry and rough Green smoothies will leave vata dosha feeling anxious and more prone to anxiety. Vata dosha should favor warming foods like soups and stews. Cooked foods are easier for vata dosha to digest. Think of stewed apples or a blended parsnip soup. Both of these would be amazing for vata dosha. Number four, don't avoid root vegetables. Remember that vatas are air and ether. They're dry and they tend to be up in their heads and get anxious easily. So eating foods that come from the earth can be grounding and sustaining for vata doshas who get exhausted easily as well. Root vegetables like carrots and beets, onions, sweet potatoes, parsnips, and ginger are wonderful for vata dosha. Number five, don't forget to eat those healthy fats, foods with natural healthy oils. So because vata doshas tend to be dry and airy, their joints can be dry. Your brain is 60% fat too. It needs fat to function optimally. So if you're feeling spaced out and anxious, increase the healthy fats in your diets. Things like butter or purified ghee, avocado, olive oil, cold pressed sesame oil are wonderfully lubricating for vatas, joints, colon, and nourishing for their brains. Number six, don't multitask. Vata doshas are incredibly creative. They have a million thoughts going on at once and it can be difficult for them to know which direction to go. They start one thing and then they feel they should be doing another thing. Vatas are restless, anxious and change their minds frequently. Doing just one thing at a time and slowly will help Vata dosha relieve that overwhelm. Number seven, don't forget to be still. People who learn towards vata constitution are always looking for the next exciting thing to stimulate their creative minds. You may notice that they're constantly shaking their legs or their feet when they sit. Their minds are going all the time, but that creativity can go into overwhelm. 
So taking time for restorative yoga practices or yin yoga with long holds can be incredibly nourishing to vata dosha. Number eight, don't skip shavasana. Speaking of all that nervous and restless energy, vata dosha definitely should not skip shavasana. If anything, they should extend it every single time. In fact, it would be incredibly beneficial for Vata Dosha to relax into stillness and Shavasana daily for 20 to 30 minutes. All that grounding energy is exceptionally helpful for Vata Dosha. Number nine, don't forget you have a body <laughs> because Vata Dosha are so creative and they spend so much time up in their heads thinking up the next best idea, they can often forget about their bodies. <laughs> Vata Dosha can literally get stuck in their heads. So one of the best ways for Vata Dosha to remember that they have a body is to give themselves a foot massage before they go to bed at night. Number 10, don't forget to hydrate with warming teas. Vata doshas are air and ether, so it's easy for them to become dry and dehydrated, which can lead to dry joints and constipation. Herbal teas such as ginger tea, chai tea with warming spices such as ginger, cardamom, and cinnamon. Teas that will help digestion such as mint, fennel, lemon balm are wonderful herbs that help with stress and anxiety and even indigestion. Now, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, then give yourself an awesome thumbs up and put my vata dosha is still and grounded in the comments. And remember to join our community this month for our 30 day challenge to balance your Ayurvedic doshas with our Ayurvedic morning routines. And if you would like my Ayurvedic clock for the best time to practice your daily routines, then go to melissawest.com clock and I will send that right to your inbox. Thanks so much for watching. Namaste.